everyone, so welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to be my makeup and then the part two is going to be my cheer hair. So go and have a look at my part two in the description box below. So if you didn't know, I am a cheerleader at East Coast All Stars, I mean Ladybirds All Girl Level 5. I that a lot of my subscribers and viewers are cheerleaders, so I thought this was a very important video to make. So if you want to see how I do my cheer makeup, then please keep watching. First thing I'm taking for primer is this e.l.f. Mineralize Infused Face Primer. This is going to make sure your makeup stays on for so long. A pump of that. And I'm just going to apply that to my whole face. So another thing I'm taking is this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and this is really good for if you have a lot of pores and this is just going to smooth them out a little bit more. So now for foundation, if you're using fake tan then I definitely recommend the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam in Dark. A foundation that I use that I think that matches perfectly with that fake tan is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte foundation and this is in the shade 24 golden beige and this is the perfect color I'm just going to apply that a little bit all over my face and this foundation is very full coverage so with cheer makeup you want to make sure that you have nice flawless skin because if you don't have very dramatic eyes you don't always want to make sure you blend it down your neck in case it, the foundation is slightly off so now for concealer, to brighten my eyes and sort of the middle of my face a little bit more, I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light and I'm just going to apply that in a triangle shape underneath my eyes. And this is again just going to brighten my under eyes. So I'm just sort of putting that on my nose, under my eyes, Cupid's bow, chin, and I like to draw a light line just along here so when we do our contour it will be a lot easier to see more of a difference and so it's not so blended out and I'm taking that same sponge and starting to blend so I'm just applying this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey and I'm just going to apply that around the perimeter of my face and then a little bit on my nose. I'm just going to blend that out again. And I'm just going to set my under eyes with this Aceon Tour Astralis Contour Kit. And I'm just taking the banana shade and setting my concealed areas so they don't crease. To set the rest of my face, I'm just taking this Astralis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. Now to set the contour area, I'm just going to take this Hula by Benefit Bronzer and this is the best bronzer ever. If you can get your hands on it, definitely recommend it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just apply that where we just put the cream contour. blush I'm taking this elf blush in tickled pink and this is just the perfect sort of warm blush when you're tan so I'm just going to take a little bit of that I'm just going to apply that a little bit above the contour this is just going to add a little bit of color back so it's not so yellow brown to brighten my face a little bit more I'm using this face of Australia translucent powder and I'm just going to place that on where we just put the concealed areas and mainly under the contour area and this is just going to brighten up wherever we put it and so I'm just going to use another Chi Chi sponge and you just want to put a lot on and it looks like a lot of powder but we're going to let that set for like 30 seconds and then we're going to brush it off and it will just lighten that area so I definitely recommend putting it under the contour because then it will create more of a sharper edge. So I'm just going to put that where we put the concealer. And I'm just going to let that set for 30 seconds and then I'm going to brush the excess off. So now I'm just going to take that same brush and start flicking off the excess. And as you can see it's whitened that area a little bit more but I'm just going to blend it so it's not so harsh. But I'm just going to flick any excess off. Also, if you bake, it will make your makeup stay on for a little bit longer than it would if you didn't because baking is 
sort of where you put a lot of excess powder on and then you brush it off and it creates like a powder layer so instead of fading the foundation straight away it will fade the powder before the foundation so it will stay on a lot longer so for my favorite part is a highlighter and what I'm going to take is very expensive but it's so worth it Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop so I'm just going to open that and I'm just going to show you how pretty that is it's like the perfect golden sort of pinky champagne shade so they're already intense by itself but to make it even more intense for cheer I'm going to take this MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to spray my brush and you can even just use water or a good dupe for that is the e.l.f. makeup mist and set this is really good if you want to sort of make any eyeshadow or powder more intense so now I'm just going to take a little bit of that and apply that right on the top of my cheekbones so as you can see it's very intense and when I'm cheering, I love an intense highlight. I'm going to insert a photo right now. And this is like a photo from Nationals last year. And as you can see, highlighter makes a big difference. So I'm just going to apply that to the highest points of my face. Now, we're going to come back to the face later, but... We're just going to start by priming my eyelids and I'm just going to take the same concealer. By priming your eyelids it's going to make the eyeshadow stay on for a lot longer than it would if you didn't. And it's also going to make sure that it gets rid of any discoloration on your lids. I'm just going to use the this finger here and start blending. Before it creases I'm just going to set my eyelids with this face powder. And the reason I'm setting them is because it's going to make sure eyeshadow blends a lot easier and again it's going to make sure it doesn't crease. So now for eyeshadow. So these are my favorite eyeshadow palettes to use ever. It's the Balm Nutude palette and it just has such great range of eyeshadows that you can use when you do your cheer makeup. It has some very dark and then some very light. So another eyeshadow palette that I love is the Natural Matte by Too Faced and this is really good if you want to start building up the intensity of colors because you can't just go straight in with a dark color otherwise it will look very patchy and not very blended so first I'm going to take this Models Prefer MPP 120 crease brush and this is my favorite brush of all time so I'm just going to start with Nudie and I'm just going to start working that in my crease and we're going to slowly build up that transition color. I'm going to take chocolate cookie and just start applying that to my crease. Before we go too far with the dark shadows, my favorite thing to do is take a bit of scotch tape. I'm just going to place this really close to my eye and I'm just going to connect it from the corner of my eye to the tip of my eyebrow and this is going to create a really sharp line when we pull it off. So definitely recommend doing this if you're not as good at, with eyeshadow, but if you are, this is still a really good trick. So now I'm going to take the shade Sexpresso. I'm just going to start applying that to my crease area and outer corner. And these shades are so pigmented, so I definitely recommend this palette as well. So you could easily just get this palette and then maybe like a single black eyeshadow. But the reason I recommend the Balm one is because it has a couple of shimmery shades as well and they're so pretty. So I'm just going to start blending that in. And I'm going to leave this area bare. I'm going in with this new Tude by the Balm eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to take the shade Sleek, and this is just like an almost black brown. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and start applying that. And this is just going to create a lot of darkness. I'm going to keep away from the brow bone because I want that still light. Now I'm going to take Serious, and this is just a matte black eyeshadow. And I'm going to start applying that right on the outer corner. And as you can see, it's a very nice gradient to my skin color. And just to blend it out a little bit more, I'm going back in with Chocolate Cookie. I'm just going to place that just in between the light and the dark. 
So you can leave the eyeshadow like this, but this is like my favorite thing of my cheer makeup tutorial. This is the Charlotte's Metallic eyeshadow. A little bit of that on my flat top brush. And I'm just going to start applying that to my lid. And this is just going to make it a little bit more glam. I'm just going to start carving that out. I'm just going to bring that down to my inner corner. Then I'm just taking this brush again and start blending it out. And as you can see, I basically used this eyeshadow brush for the whole time. It is so good. Now I'm taking this Maybelline Hyper Glossy Liquid Liner. It's my favorite types of liner. Like, I just like any sort of eyeliner that has this sort of tip. And I find it the easiest to use. So, once I'm going to leave the tape on while I do the eyeliner. And this is just going to create a good barrier. So, you can't basically go wrong. So, I'm going to start on the tape and just draw a line down. And then start to draw onto the inner center of my lid. And then I'm just going to attach that with that line across there. And you can just build it up to how thick you want. So I don't want it, I'm not going to do it too thick because I don't want to take away what we just did. So once I've done that, I'm just going to take the tape off. And as you can see, it's created a really nice sharp line. And this is perfect for cheer makeup because when you wear lashes, it kind of follows the lashes and it looks really cool. And this is a great trick if you're thinking of doing a winged eyeliner. So for underneath my eyes, I don't like to use black because we're going to do a trick after. But I'm just going to take the shade Chocolate Cookie and Espresso, and I'm just going to mix a little bit together and start applying that to my waterline and that to my lash Ooh! now I'm just taking this small angled brush and this Maybelline gel pop liner and I'm just going to line my waterline and this is just going to create a little bit of extra darkness so I'm just going to start by now I'm going to take this L'Oreal telescopic clean definition mascara and I'm just going to apply a thin coat of this over my lashes. And I'm taking these Glimmer lashes and I used them in my last tutorial because I'm so obsessed with them. And these are double stacked lashes. These are the Glimmer's 43s and these are so pretty. So this is the glue that I think stays on for so long and this is my fave. And this is the Adele Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive and I'm just going to apply a thin layer over the top. You always want to make sure you apply a thin layer. You don't want to apply too much because then it'll be very hard to apply. I think the easiest way to apply these is with tweezers. So I just hold them up and tilt my head back looking at the mirror. And I'm going to start by putting the tweezers in the middle. And you always want to place the middle down first. Another good tip is to make sure the glue is a little bit dry before you place. And then I'm just going to do the outer corner and then the inner corner. So for brows, I'm going to take this Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown and I'm just going to apply this with a small angled brush. So to set my brows so the pomade doesn't smudge, I'm going to take this L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and I'm just going to run that through my brows. ECA is obviously red so we're going to wear red lipstick. So I'm just going to line my lips and this is going to make sure my liquid lipstick stays on for a lot longer. So now I'm going to take this Astralis Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade NYC. This is like the perfect red and it also stays on for so long. So, And this also dries matte and doesn't transfer as much as a red lipstick would. And especially if you're a flyer, you don't want to get red lipstick all over someone's uniform. So last but not least, I'm going to take this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and this again is going to make my makeup stay on for so long. I'm going to spritz this all over my face. Woo! So thank you all for watching. Go check out my part 2 and that's my cheer hair tutorial. If you learned anything then please tag me on your Instagram pics because comp season is coming up so if I helped you out a little bit then yeah don't forget to tag me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!